Did you know you can use a 100 piece poppet to learn and practice your multiplication facts or times tables? To do so, you will need a 100 piece poppet and a sharpie or a permanent marker if you would like to write on the poppet. If you do not want to write on your poppet, you can do like I've done here and put tape or the round garage sale stickers on the poppet and then write with the Sharpie. At the end of the video, I have a completed multiplication chart that you can screenshot. First, write the numbers one through 10 on the top row going across. Then, number the first column 1 through 10 going down, sharing the same one in the upper left hand corner. Now you have your multiplication problem and you find the first factor or number on the top row that you're multiplying. And then you find the second factor or number you're multiplying in the column. For example, 2 times 2. You find the first factor in the top row and the second factor in the column. With your fingers, follow the row down and the column across to where they meet. Everything inside of those lines you just traced with your fingers, you're going to pop all of those bubbles. So you can see the blue bubbles here. Count the bubbles that you popped, and that is the answer to your multiplication problem. As you can see, 2 times 2 equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this works for all multiplication facts of factors 1 through 10 of whole numbers. Another example is 5 times 5. So find the 5 in the top row and the 5 in the column and follow to where your fingers meet and then pop all of those bubbles. If you were to count them, there would be 25 bubbles. Another example is 9 times 9. Do the same thing, and if you wanted to pause and count the bubbles, you would find that there are 81 blue bubbles. These multiplication facts are commutative, meaning that the order doesn't matter. The product or the answer does not depend on which factor or number goes first. So for instance, 3 times 6 is the same thing as 6 times 3. And you can see here the rectangle of the blue bubbles is the same shape. It has the same amount of pop bubbles. In other words, 6 times 3 equals 18 is the same thing as 3 times 6, which equals 18. Okay guys, so if you'd like to pause your screen and take a screenshot, this is the completed multiplication chart. If you are familiar with multiplication, you've probably seen this before. If you are not and you're going into multiplication, this will come in handy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and look out for more videos. Candy Toy Box, peace out.